Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Cynthia Ortiz and today we'll be going over missing add-ins. Now let's remember that an add-in is a number that is being added. But what is a missing add-in? A missing add-in is an add-in that is not there. For example, 2 plus hmm equals 5. As you can see, I have a missing add-in. One of the numbers that is being added is not there. Okay, so if you've seen some of our last videos, you probably remember the part part whole chart. We will use this part part whole chart to find our missing add-ins. I have 5 plus what equals 13. Let's go ahead and take the information we already know and put it in our part part whole chart. I know the first part is 5, so I will fill that in. And I know my whole is 13. Okay, so now what is the missing add-in? To find out, I will start at 5 and count up until I get to 13. As I do so, I will draw circles. At the end, I will see how many circles I drew to get from 5 to 13. The number of circles we have is the missing add-in. Ready? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so how many circles did it take to get from 5 to 13? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 5 plus 8 equals 13. 5 plus 8 equals 13. Very good. Do you want to know another way we could have solved this? You could have used related facts to find your missing add-in. Watch this. 5 plus hmm equals 13. I could have taken 13 and subtracted 5, and that would have given me 8. So you could have drawn 13 circles on this side, crossed off 5, and you would have had 8 left over. That would have been your missing add-in. So do you see how related facts can also help me find missing add-ins? Awesome. Okay, ready for the next example? It says 9 plus hmm equals 16. So let's go ahead and fill in our numbers in our part part whole chart. I know that the first part is 9 and the whole is 16. But what is the missing add-in? So, I will start at 9 and count up until I get to 16. I will draw circles to help me keep track. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, I stopped at 16, but how many circles did it take to get from 9 to 16? Let's go ahead and count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 9 plus 7 equals 16. That missing part was 7. Very good. Don't forget, just like with our last example, what you could have done is taken 16 and subtracted 9. That would have given you 7. The missing added. So you can also use related facts to find your missing add-in. 6 plus hmm equals 12. So I will go ahead and fill in my first part, 6, and my whole, 12. Okay, what is my missing add-in? Let's go ahead and start at 6 and count up to 12. I will draw circles to help me keep track. 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. How many circles did it take to get from 6 to 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 plus 6 equals 12. 6 plus 6 equals 12. Very good. Again, don't forget that you could have used related facts to help you find the missing add-in. You could have taken 12 
and subtracted six, you would have gotten six. I apologize for my squeaky marker today. Eight plus hmm equals ten. I will fill in my first part, eight, and my whole, ten. Let's go ahead and start at eight and count up until we get to ten. I will use circles to help me keep track. Eight, nine, ten. How many circles did it take to get from eight to ten? One, two. That means that eight plus two equals ten. Eight plus two equals ten. And once again, I could have taken ten and subtracted eight. That equals two. So that would have helped me find my missing item as well. Related facts are very useful. Okay, ready for the word problem? It says, there are two frogs in the pond. There are more frogs on a rock. There are six frogs in all. How many frogs are on the rock? So let's start by circling what we already know. We know that there are how many frogs in the pond? Two. Circle two frogs. We know that there are more frogs on a rock. So we have more frogs. We're not finished. There are six frogs in all. Six frogs in all. So if that's the total, if that's how many we have in all, we know that six is our whole, right? We want to know how many frogs are there on the rock. Okay, so this is a pretty big question. Let's take it step by step and fill in what we know in our part part whole chart. I know that two frogs are in the pond, right? So two frogs in the pond, and six frogs in all. So I have two and some on the rock, but when I put them all together, I have six. So let's write six as our whole. Two plus what equals six? Hmm, for this one, I think I will use related facts. I will take six and subtract two. Six minus two, what does that equal? I will hold up six fingers and put two down. One, two. How many do I have left? One, two, three, four. So that means two plus four equals six. There are four frogs on the rock. Very good. Okay guys, that is today's lesson on missing atoms. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and found it very useful. Don't forget to use the part part whole chart when doing your own homework. Please don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe for more learning videos. Bye guys!